thanks very much, Diane Sawyer. And as Diane makes clear, we're going to go back to her before very long. Uh, today at the Pentagon, the Secretary of Defense, Don Rumsfeld, said that earlier estimates, and these were estimates made by uh, non-Pentagon officials, that up to 800 people had perished in the Pentagon were too high. Let's try to get the Pentagon in perspective now. Here's ABC's John Yang. Thank everybody. When the sun rose this morning, the firefighters and rescue workers were still on the job just as they had been for nearly 24 hours. There's a lot of steel, there's a lot of concrete, glass, uh, wood, metal rebar that's, that's uh, protruding from the building. It's very warm outside. Those all added together with the, with the um, destruction itself kind of heightens the, uh, the situation inside. They work 12-hour shifts, and the work is gruesome. It's worse than they thought it was going to be. Um, Stepping over things that they assume are bodies that they don't know for a fact because it's so dark on the inside. The collapse of part of the Pentagon left about 100 military personnel missing, while the number of missing civilians is unknown. Officials hope the death toll will be much lower than the 800 projected yesterday. From everything that we currently know, the, the estimate that's been widely reported is uh, considerably high, and we certainly... Uh, pray that that's the case. Some stories of the missing have happy endings. Hospital officials oh, called like Michael here. Kurtz about his badly uh, burned wife. I came in uh, teary eyed. Uh, I, I didn't recognize my wife uh, of 31 years. Others are still waiting for answers. Herman Hallman's wife is among the missing. Nobody could give me a direct you know, information. They say, call this hospital, call that hospital. These are the five hospitals that we took people to. In the fraternity of fire and rescue workers, the men and women toiling here at the Pentagon also felt the loss of yesterday's attacks. They had often worked at disasters around the world with the New York City firefighters and rescuers killed when the World Trade Center towers collapsed. The loss, they say, makes them redouble their efforts. Our job is here and our job is now, so we continue to do that, if nothing else, to memorialize uh, the greatness of these men and women that were killed yesterday. It is a job that will only intensify in the...